everybody, this is Dr. M. Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to start with this uh, first tutorial on entopology. So this is very useful uh, to create uh, cellular materials or any kind of metamaterials. So let's start with creating a new file. And here uh, we have this interface. What we first need is a surface in which we are going to put our cellular material or our lattice material so here we can select uh, from these primitives or we can import some external geometry so right now let's start with the cube and here we can change uh, the size or the position of this cube and then we're going to create uh, the lattice so from here is the kind of distribution of the lattice inside of this structure so for example, this one is the rectangular volume lattice and here we're going to put our cube into this uh, other, other tab for the volume. So next uh, we're going to choose the kind of unit cell that we're going to use. So these are the TPMS or these other kind of cells are uh, honeycomb, strut base or farms. So we're going to select this graph unit cell and we're going to drag into here unit cell and here we can select um, any of these uh, varieties of unit cells so let's choose for now octet and this is the orientation of the unit cell the size and then the thickness so let's give it a 0.5 so as you can see it uh, directly changes um, our cube into the desired lattice here we can change um, any, any of the parameters as we want and it will update immediately so we can go uh, for a bigger unit cell size okay or even uh, we can change um, the kind of geometry that we are using so for now let's work with this one and next thing we need to do is uh, to create a mesh uh, out from this uh, geometry so let's search for mesh from implicit body and we're going to drag this one into body let's put a 0 0.2 0 0.2 tolerance and as you can see we have our mesh next thing is um, here this mesh is only external it's a surface mesh so if we look inside there is uh, nothing inside so what we need to do is now uh, a volume mesh so that we can do some um, static analysis so for example if we write here uh, volume mesh we can use this uh, mesh and let's use the same size of the main we will take a look so now that my volume mesh is ready I can use um, this to look inside and we have our mesh inside of our structure now let's transform that one into a finite element mesh and let's use linear okay okay so our mesh is ready so now let's ask for a static analysis and we're going to do um, Finite element uh, solid model. So here is this mesh here, and we need to create a material. So let's create a, tro uh, a block for the material, and it's a tropic material in this case. And let's let's write here uh, properties. So we need isotropic linear elastic properties. So the Jones modulus, that one uh, from the material that you're using, and Poisson ratio also from the material that you want to simulate, and the density of the material that you, you are going to simulate. So once you have your material, you drag it into here. And now we need um, the conditions, the boundary conditions. So for that, uh, in this case it's different from other softwares, it has some, um, some conditions that can be by body. Um, 
So here we need, we need the force. And we're going to use Infinite Boundary by Body. For this, we're going to create a box. This box is going to be. Uh, so right here, like touching um, the end, the upper end of the structure. And we're going to drag this box here in body. And for mesh, we need our uh, finite element mesh. So is this one. So since we have it already here, we're going to click, right click, and make it variable. Like that, we can drag it again into here. This is nodes. And now the vector. Like that, we have our force. Now that we have uh, the force, okay. Let's add another one. This one is a displacement constraint. Restrain. And we're going to use the same finite element boundary by body. We are going to create another box. But this one is going to be down, like in the bottom face. We drag it. We also drag the mesh. We want to use nodes, nodes. And Right now we are having this um, this static analysis. However, as you can see, like, uh, it's creating this kind of, of uh, displacement because it's uh, it's not displacing like the the wall altogether. So what we can do is to create. Um, some boolean union of some boxes in here so let me show you how to do that really fast uh, so here from from force and displacement we created these um, boxes for the boundaries and we can use them to make some variables and let's use this let this also make variable. Let's make a Boolean union with this lattice, this box, and another box. So, right, we have this. Now let's replace. From this mesh, we're going to eliminate this one and we're going to put our Boolean unit in here. Let's wait for the refresh. So now we have this uh, static analysis, but using our new um, Boolean, let's turn this off and like that, we have this. Displacement, displacement simulation, also you can change into stress, strain or reaction forces you can get like the minimum, maximum or some prop ok, so for the next part of the tutorial let's import part we also he here we have sections so we can have a better control on our um, workflow so here let's open this part, it should be like a solid works part so that it can open so right here we have this um, 
this part of this has different components so we need to transform this into like um, some bodies that we can work with it's implicit body from cat body and we can select like for example this one and it will create like a body out from the implicit body that is uh, imported so let's create another one one for each of them alright so now we can for example if we want to just put some lattice inside this part let's create a lattice let's select this part For example, here, since my is very big, I need like a thicker and bigger uh, unit size. So that you can just adjust um, depending on. on the size of your geometry okay so once you're happy with your internal geometry you can create a boolean And here you can add since there are four bodies another two here one two three okay so you have the boolean union you can even put like here some blend radius and choose the kind of um, like union that you want uh, for these uh, boundaries So if you want to export this and use it, uh, for example, to 3D print or uh, to export in another software, you need to create a mesh out of this uh, geometry. So mesh from implicit body. We can drag this Boolean union. And depending on the size of your uh, geometry, you can select the size of the mesh. In this example, this is a big uh, structure and therefore a big mesh. Okay, so let's wait. So here we already have our mesh created. And now we're going to export our mesh. So we can select first uh, our pad. And we can select the kind of uh, file that we want. like that we're exporting our mesh so that's it for now and keep up for more tutorials okay bye see you next time